Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is Dell Latitude 7280 model and that is a brand new Western Digital Blue 1TB NVMe SSD. Okay, so this machine does have M.2 SAT SSD, which one is slower than NVMe. Okay, so we're going to upgrade it first. We need to open up the back cover and physically we need to upgrade and then we will install the brand new operating system in there just to have the better speed and better performance okay so in this video you would learn how to upgrade it physically this nvme ssd plus how to install the operating system by changing the correct settings from your bios so you should have two tools which is manual flat opening tool and phillips screwdriver so first of all, we're going to take out all the screws from the back that we can see to take out the back plate and then we can get access into the main board, disconnect the battery, you know, unscrew the existing M.2 set SSD and then put back the new one. So let's start. All right, so first of all, we're gonna disconnect the battery. That's the first thing. And once the battery is disconnected, that's all fine. Now, we're gonna take out the M.2 SAT SSD, which is located right hand side of the battery. That is secured with a single screw. My one is missing, I don't know how. I'm gonna just pull this out gently. As you can see, there are two cuts on the connector. This is M.2 SATA. SSD it's called and the one I have on my hand which is brand new from Western Digital that is M.2 NVMe so both of them the form factor is M.2 and connector is M.2 but the technology are different one of them is NVMe another one is SATA that's the difference so both of them are fully compatible but the advantage is this one faster than M.2 SATA always NVMe is much more faster than that. So we're gonna connect it at the same way. We just need to make sure secure properly with only one screw. And then that would be ready to take Windows 10 in UEFI format. So I hope you'd enjoy the rest of the video. Still, if you do have any question, make sure you leave it in the comment section and if you do like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. I hope I'll see you in the next one and your rest of the video.